So today I have another chair review. This time we have the Knoll Generation chair. And I like this chair, generally. Um, let me run you through what kind of adjustments it has if you're considering kind of buying one like this. So first of all, you've got some armrests. These are actually quite adjustable. They're fairly decent. So the armrests can kind of go in and out on either side. Um, they have a lever on the side here to raise kind of up and down as well. And they can go kind of quite low and they go in and out. So generally you've got some decent um, adjustments that you can do on the armrest. The most sort of noticeable thing about this chair, first of all, is kind of the very distinctive back shape. Um, it's sort of this flexible, it's not quite mesh, it's like a plasticky kind of fabric, but there's a bit of spring to it and it's sort of curved over here. So this is where your sort of lower back area is meant to sit. You've got this nice kind of curve here, which is meant to kind of support you. You have an optional lumbar, um, support with this chair. I've never tried the lumbar support. This one that I have does not have it, but it would sort of slot down here in this back and give you a bit of extra support here because um, you can see it does kind of deform a bit quite easily. But that's the main sort of marketability uh, point of this chair, really, that it, it is adjustable. You notice there's a bit of a squeak here. I, I got that before I had the chair, unfortunately. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to make it go away. It is slightly annoying if you bought one used, I guess, make sure it doesn't have a squeak in it, but you know, you could probably put some oil or something and there's, there's this little kind of gap where it kind of goes in. Maybe that would help. But the main marketable feature of this chair is that you can kind of sit in any angle for it. So you're meant to sort of be able to sit like this if you really want to, to kind of, um, change your seating position during the day. I mean, I'm not sure how feasible uh, that one is. That seems a bit kind of strange, but the uh, you can sort of sit in a side position in your chair, I suppose, if you really want to, something like this, um, using the back as kind of an armrest. This is what they they say in the um, their kind of media demonstrations or something. And I guess, I don't know. I mean, it feels weird. It's not, it's not what I would recommend. And if you're using a office chair <coughs> Ooh. oh if you're using a an office chair as kind of a a task chair i'm not going to cut that out. um you know you you want to be sat in the comfortable position the chair that the position that the chair is meant to be in which is just the standard seating position so i don't really get the thing it's sort of a gimmick but it sets it apart from other chairs i suppose um other adjustments that you have on the chair you have a seat slide here, always a nice adjustment. A chair which kind of doesn't have one is not that good at kind of fitting different body types, I think. Different sizes of people, short or tall. Um, you've got your height adjustment on here, and you've got a sort of um, recline adjustment on the chair. As always with the seat slide, generally make sure you have sort of a few fingers width between the uh, your knees and the sort of front of the the chair here. Um, generally, comfort-wise, it's 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 nice. It feels okay to sit in. Um, it's not my favourite style of, of chair. This is the normal generation, the regeneration, which is the one after this, I think is a superior chair. Um, more rigid back, but just uh, the same recline mechanism. But I just think they perfected the design in terms of the armrests, the the back, if you can pick up a regeneration from Knoll, I, I would say do that. Um, but I'll, I mean, Knoll, definitely a quality chair, definitely um, a quality chair with this. I'll, I'll just do the last adjustment because I forgot that. You have this uh, sort of recline adjustment here. You can see when you recline, the sort of seat comes up as well. If you can can see that on the, uh, on the video, as you recline the chair, the seat sort of folds upwards. Um, the recline has three settings, so if I put it to the sort of middle one here, then that's sort of meant to stop as a half uh, recline, I think, and then back down. So it's not terribly noticeable the differences between them. Um, it's maybe more tension. I can't even tell. It's really strange. That's not even. That's all the way down. That's halfway. I think it offers a slightly 
it's meant to be slightly harder to recline apparently but again I'm not seeing that much difference and then all the way forward um, then the kind of recline what is going on with this chair I can't even tell what's happening it doesn't feel like anything's changed have I got a broken chair oh my god that's all the way back nothing just recline one step forward still recline all the way forward still recline I don't know what's going on maybe I've uh, broken my chair <laughs> never mind um but generally I, I would recommend a chair by Noel. they are a good make they do do good stuff pick up the regeneration if you can the generation this chair give you a nice look at it again it's stylish it's nice actually it's very very nice but you want it for comfort you want it for um ergonomic features you don't really you know you, you know where are you in uh, san francisco or something what do you want something artsy i mean do you, or do you want something functional that's that's my opinion um i like i like function and it, it is it has it has function it has good adjustments um i think there are better ones on the market for used chairs um hayworth the zodi is a nice chair the old regeneration again if you can pick it up very nice chair um anything herman miller generally i would say is superior to this this specific generation chair but you know try it out i always recommend go to a used furniture store find what you can just try out a bunch of chairs find what works for you and uh, just go from there you know but if you if you can find an opportunity to pick up one of these cheap hey go for it it's a very nice chair so that's the review Thank you very much.